Welcome to Board Game Casual, here with another quick board game recommendation of a game you may have overlooked. Here's why you're sleeping on Runestones. Runestones is one of my favorite games, and I think it flew under a lot of people's radars. It's got deck building. It's got a cascading market. Do I buy the more expensive card now before anyone else can? Or do I hope that it'll eventually slide over and come down in price? It's got multi-use cards. Do I want to play cards of like colors to buy additional cards for my deck? Or do I want to play a pair of cards and use their action ability? It's got a very cool action system. You play a pair of cards and take both of their actions, but afterwards you trash the higher value of the two cards. And it's really fun to feel like you're gaming the system when you play two higher powered cards together because that means you'll only trash one of them and get to use the other one again. It's got player tableaus. It's got powerful feeling upgrades. It's got great components. I mean, look at these jewels. It plays at a great pace and doesn't overstay its welcome. It's got a theme, which is, um, forest wizards? Okay, so the theme is whatever. The art is fine, but that just goes to show how much I like this game that these things don't matter. If you like deck building or you're just looking for a good game that plays in about an hour, gives some fun decisions to make without being too agonizing, a good feeling of ranking up and some powerful feeling turns, all while being pretty easy to teach and easy to learn, definitely give Runestones a try. I highly, highly recommend it. I'm surprised this game doesn't get more love. It's really, really good. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.